Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such okay. a pleasure to have you here at the London Film Festival. Um, if you kick off with a brief introduction to Maestro, what can people expect? And tell us a bit about your role in, in the making of the film. Um, so I was involved in doing uh, Kerry Mulligan's Old Age Makeup. Um, there's two of us who did it. There was me and also Sean Grigg, who'll be here later, who's the makeup designer, but also she was in charge of Kerry Mulligan's look. Um, my job was to basically create some of the appliances that we stuck on her, and then both of us produced the makeup. So the process involved, um, first of all, putting a sort of latex type material over her skin which is a liquid and as it dries it forms little wrinkles so we put that all over her face and all over her hands and then we applied she's got a nose prosthetic a nose prosthetic here uh, little prosthetics here uh, little throw sort of saggy skin appliance here and little stretchy earlobes so that was basically the process and then once those were all glued on then we color that all up with an airbrush and then we put like a beauty makeup over the top of that. And what was most exciting to you to get on board with this project? I mean, obviously Bradley Cooper, you know, yeah, behind I mean, the camera and in front, but also I Kerry mean, Mulligan. Yeah, I mean, Kerry Mulligan I've worked with before. Um, again, with Sean Grigg, we did Suffragettes. So um, I know what she's like and she's a wonderful human being and an amazing actress. So that was, that's always a good thing because you always want somebody that's really nice in your makeup chair because you're going to be spending a lot of time together, right? Um, so that was the main draw to me. And the second draw that is from, I'm from London and it's filmed in New York. When do you ever get the chance to go to summer for so, you know, to New York for the summer for so many weeks? And I understand you weren't working directly on, on, on Bradley's look, but no, what do you nothing what, to do with Bradley. What do, what do you make of all that? And do you think that there is always a balance to be had? You know, it feels like well, there's constantly a debate about the use of prosthetics or the, you know, who's who's whether it's about resemblance or it's all down to basically what several people want on a production whether it be the producers, whether it be actors. It's not normally down to what the makeup artists really, one way or the other, think. It's, we, we produce several different, we do makeup tests, we produce several different versions, maybe six to eight different versions of a look, and then it's left to other people to make their decisions, and sometimes they're not our decisions. And what was your favourite part of being involved with the film? I have to say, being in New York and working with Kerry, because Kerry's just, I mean, it's a delight every day, and that's a rarity. And you must be really looking forward to finally seeing the film then, Absolutely. particularly her performance. Yeah, yeah, been... yeah. Well, seeing her performance, which I mean, I saw bits of, for sure, and also I saw bits of Bradley's, but I didn't see the whole thing. And I think just to see whether we've pulled it off and it, does, it looks good, you know, that's, that would be the thing. Do you know what you're going to be working on next? Or have you had a, another job that's been a highlight other than this one? Uh, I mean, I'm working on a couple of projects at the moment already because although obviously there's the strikes in the States and that has affected <laughs> the crews in the UK, um, I'm in a lucky position in the fact that um, because I produce prosthetics as well as going on set. So at the moment I'm in a workshop making prosthetics for other shows. You know, my first ever uh, so I mean, Vecna was, you know, it's a six and a half hour process and it took four of us to do it. It's a big, big job. And alien, like I was saying before, like aliens and creatures, they're very easy to fool people with the right lighting and stuff. Uh, people to be convinced that it's a horrific character. But with, with anything that looks real, um, like old age, like I sort of didn't care. Um, people know, they can tell instantly. It's like we were talking about AI again. You can tell instantly something not quite right. Um, so I'm hoping tonight, when I finally see it, that we've done the job correctly and people go, don't even notice it. People don't talk about it, then we've done our job right. <laughs> Uh, for, so we did Kerry Mulligan, so it's me and the makeup designer, Sean Grigg, and Sean also did Kerry's look throughout the film. Um, so, but I came in just to do um, Kerry's look. Um, we, we've known each other for almost, 30, we've worked together for almost 30 years, I think, me and Sean. Um, so we have a very good working relationship about knowing. When, you're doing, when, you, when you've got two people doing the makeup, which is what we were doing, 
um, and you've got to do it quickly. We were doing it in, I think it's right now, 45, something like that. Um, you have to work in a sort of ballet, almost, working your way around an actor, actress, um, because we have to, we, her skin, we had to stre do stretch and stipple, which is kind of like, um, put almost like a latex product on the skin and you stretch it and when you release it, it forms little tiny wrinkles. Um, so one person has to hold the skin, another person has to hair dry, and another person powder. So it's like a little ballet. Everybody knows them, but um, I think for us, we weren't necessarily trying to make Kerry look particularly like her, you know, Felicia. And it was more just trying to age her. So in that respect, it was a lot, yeah. a lot more easier.